Most of the things that we learn about in history, there's a solution to it, or the war ends or something, but poverty, there isn't that like, sense of closure on it. It's still going on now, and we're still looking for solutions. First of all, does anybody have any questions about uh, what went on during the week and what you guys saw? All right, so how many people do you think in America live below the poverty line? Below the poverty line. And for reference, there are about 310 million people in America. Yes? That's like 100 million. No, 75 million. 75 million? Any other numbers? Yeah, max. 50 million, that's really close. It's um, 43.6 million. 43.6 million. Right, so that's about one in every seven people in the U.S. lives in poverty. Four people in this class if we were to represent America. I'm a little surprised to see that a kid is working at this young of an age. It had a kind of strange effect on me. It, it's sad and yet it strikes me at the same time. Not knowing what could happen every day. It's hard. You can see that the conditions around are not good. I'd be really scared. To see it documented like this and in this form, it just, it's completely changed my view of how, how impoverished people live. We learn about all these histories and other countries that are going through these poverty problems. But then you like look at these walls and then it's, it kind of hits you like it's not history, it's not something, it's real, it's happening like right now in our neighborhoods. Kids from a young age taking what they hear. So if their surroundings constantly tell them poverty is insolvable, that's what they're going to grow up to believe. And that's what they're going to tell their kids. But if the coming generations grow up with the mindset that poverty is solvable, it just hasn't been solved yet. It's something that progress can be made in.